job. The way I see it, we knock it over Friday, 6 o'clock, closing time. I got a problem with that, Rico. What do you mean, problem? Betty and I got a Lamaze class at 7.30. You hear that, Rocky? Tough guy, dope kids, got Lamaze class. Yeah, Friday's no good for me either, Rico. Uh, Debbie works late, and I, I gotta mind the kids. Why don't you get some live-in help like we got? That ain't for me, Duke. No stranger's gonna raise my kids. I couldn't handle the guilt. Yeah, Betty and I had some guilt over leaving Brian with the nanny, but we worked it out with our family therapist. Well, yeah? yeah? I would like some guilt over this bank job if you jokers don't mind. You know, speaking of jokers, I need a clown for Nicole's first birthday on Saturday. Oh, you know a good one, Duke? Don't be a sap, Rocky. You're never gonna find a party clown at this late date. There's a six-month waiting list. I have been waiting six months to pull this heist, see? That's it. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't be a fool there, Rico. I mean, let's talk about it. Talk. That's all you guys want to do is talk. Yeah, 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 like a couple of dames. Uh, it's tough having a career and a family, Rico. Uh, you wouldn't know. You're a single man. I'm staying single, too. I'm pulling this job alone. Do me one last favor, Rico. Pick my kid up at preschool and take him to his finger painting class. Mr. Neff, usual? Yeah, thanks, Joe. All right. Say, uh, Mr. Neff, you're not like the other butterflies around here. I mean, uh, you know, you got a head on your shoulders. So? Yeah, so I was wondering, you know, uh, how come you, uh, you know, hit the skids? Well, it's a long story, Joe. It'll require a flashback. Well, that's what we're here for, huh? Well, I... Still can't believe it happened. It all started just three months ago. Yeah, I was a hot shot broker with a firecracker in my pocket, on my way to the top. So I'm heading to the office one morning, same as usual. Don't ask me why, but that day I stopped to watch one of those, you know, street mimes. Well, he was having some fun with the crowd, and I gotta admit, I was getting a laugh or two out of it myself. Next thing I know, he was giving me a ribbing. Before you know it, I'm late. So I start to hightail it to my office when something tells me I'm not alone. This guy was sticking to me like a summer cold. Now, fun is fun, but to be honest, he was starting to get on my nerves. I arrived at work thinking I had lost the pest. I was wrong. Now, people, if you could all turn to your cost analysis reports as prepared by Mr. Neff. Where's Mr. Neff? Oh, sorry I'm late. I was just, uh, I was just, uh, I was, uh, it's not really very important. If you'll all, uh, if you'll all, uh, just open your, uh, report to, uh, page 18, I think you can see... Mr. Neff! This is a place of business, not a circus sideshow! Well, the mime. Well, I can explain that. You see, I was, uh, I was on my way to work this morning, uh, you know, usual route. I just, uh, I thought I'd walk instead of drive because I've been having a little problem with the... Well, they didn't understand, Joe, and now I was out of a job. At that moment, I felt completely alone in the world. Well, almost. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't shake the little guy, and it began to affect my marriage. Just to say, Betty left me the next day. Well, from that point, my life... It was just two weeks ago. A shot rang out, a baby cried, a woman screamed. Hey, buddy, don't you see I'm serving this guy here? Give me a minute, huh? 
Go ahead, Mr. Neff. From that point, my life made a beeline for the drain. Finally, I, I couldn't take it anymore. The way I saw it, there was only one way out of this jam. If you got anything to say, say it now. And what's Mr. Pasty Face do? He mime for his life. But I wasn't buying it. Where's the violins, I said. But I couldn't do it. Me. Eddie Neff. Too soft to kill a street mime. Next thing I know, it's morning. And he was gone. Well, I felt relieved at first, but here's the kicker, Joe, the twist in the plot. I missed the little guy. You see, we had a lot in common. We liked to do the same things. I got tipped off to a certain after-hours joint. You know, where a lot of mimes go to unwind after a tough day. I'm looking for a street mime. Skinny guy, white makeup, black leotard. But they weren't talking either, Joe. Not even a peep. Cat had their tongues. Their lips were zipped. By now, I recognize the old silent treatment. <laughs> Who was I kidding? It was over. I'd never find him. Probably for the best, huh, Joe? Hey, last one for the books, huh, Mr. Neff? Well, then last Thursday, I was minding my own business. I didn't know what came... Hey, Mr. Neff, don't you think you've had enough for one night? Please, Joe. One more flashback. It's closing time, Mr. Neff. Uh... I'll call you a cat. No, no. That's okay, Joe. Hey. Thanks for listening. Anytime, Eddie. Anytime. A telephone call for Mr. Gullible, huh? Uh, what, you've met someone else, have oh, you? Oh, come no, on. No, don't lie to me. You've met someone else. Stop. What's her name, huh? What's her name? Tell me. What is her name? You want to know what her name is? Yes. 